Welcome back, my dearest friends! Welcome back to ever so amazing, sexy heroes of might and magic for the nature campaign scenario one, mission one, Elvin, level 15 something, Warden specifically, with a lot of beautiful stuff on him, with the beautiful skills. And this is the newest skill we gained because I chose. You know why? Because Elvin is a. You know, that elvish type that wants to have all the gold, all the women, and all the children. But we should go with the basic nobility at the moment, which increases all creature growth by 10% in the town that recognizes this hero as its governor. At the moment, we've gained this skill a little bit down the line, bef well, after we moved down to one of our towns, but it doesn't really matter. Most skills here are support skills, I would say. Because at the end of the day, Grandmaster Summoning is the biggest mojo here. And, of course, the advanced leadership, which gives a lot of morale and a lot of luck. Plus, of course, basic defense. All in all, these are three primary, I guess, points, trees that I'm going to go with. The tactics, nobility, and nature magic. While we can also have these two additional, I'm not, I'm, I'm in, in, in licensed campaign, we never reach that specific goal of uh, fully upgrading the entire all the trees possible and I don't I do not expect in these five to six missions or however we actually we have how many missions we actually have here that we're gonna truly explore all the freaking things but as this is also blind and we're playing an expert instead of normal difficulty it's gonna still be a bit interesting to see how we're gonna develop the, this specific hero or other heroes as we go and as, as I said it's blind specifically because I've never played this campaign and uh, we're playing on a bigger difficulty and because I never played with nature creatures before and at all so this is gonna be a very interesting faction to play as and to be honest it's very and a very beautiful faction the look of it the design of it everything is just perfect so uh, the next uh, battle that awaits us and to be honest this is the battle that await us in Zudrai Zudrai because this is the last on orange stronghold I think that is the orange city and this is a good thing because that means that as soon as we finish these uh, chaos creatures it's pretty much a GG for me and I can continue exploration of the entire map gain as many nature things as I can and be happy with what little I have so and of course get back to the dolphin jump because that is the actual uh, objective of the scenario and we're going to be doing it immediately after Zudrai. Hopefully Zudrai is going to go well for us. These are of course our creatures we have. Two beautiful eagles. Elven with a bunch of mana still. And this is going to go the same thing. Just uh, destroy the enemy uh, archers. Which is going to be the evil eyes. This entire battle is going to be a very important for the second um, notion. Is that we do not know. Now we do. That this is a level 14. My Wida. My Wida. Sorceress, Warlock, Demon, Warlock. And these are horror skill. That's a lot of health points. She has Expert Pyromancy. Chaos Magic Spell 60%. Expert Conjuration. Gives the hero 3 spell points. But in general, it's an Expert Chaos Magic. Advanced Nature and Advanced Combat. Which is interesting. The Warlock with an Advanced Nature also. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, she has the Advanced Combat. Which is, this is the thing specifically goes into the hero, hero points of strength, mobility, sexual prowess. Not like what I went with nobility and all that bullcrap that supports my units on the battlefield. So these are the things I should be afraid of. Uh, you, know, honestly, you know, honestly, I'm not afraid of any of these creatures except the moment 17 ugly monsters over there. And with those 17 monsters, I'm just gonna do this. First and foremost, I do not know the I do, I do not know the skills that like, she's gonna drop at us. I do not know what power specifically she's gonna utilize against us. So what I'm gonna do is first and foremost secure my hero with the be best possible unit. Okay. The next thing is, as per usual, as we tend to go, is summon Earth Elementals. They have proven to be very, very valuable, and that's exactly what I wanna deal with is the valuable aspect. Let's kill off the evil eyes as fast as possible, if possible. Possible. That is the question. If possible. Yes, yeah, slowly but surely. When they are on the towers, they gain a massive boost of love. And that's never a good thing. Now, as I said, I do not know what to expect from this little bitch. So she could completely annihilate us all. Also, they have 12 nightmares, which are actually tier 3 creatures. Uh, very dangerous. 
can uh, do a curse, or should say terror, sorry, curses specifically to the beautiful unicorns that we actually have, which is actually blinding, but there you go, 80 health points here, 110 health points on them. Okay, so the next are Ifrits, what can we do with Ifrits? We're gonna, again, just utilize our archers, archer units specifically to deal, but again, we cannot do, do the full damage here, sadly. But it's gonna be fine because at the end it just is uh, to clear out these bastards with a little what we little have, and that's gonna be a little bit getting close up with maybe with the Oryx. Now they are tier one unit, but they, they need to be a little bit close, close to really do the massive freaking damage. So let's do it like this: a little bit of damage does nothing, kills uh, my beautiful eagle. Sadly, we're gonna draw up our beautiful thing that is the stones right there. Thank you very much, and again an attack. On uh, these little bastards, uh, should I attack with the orcs? Is the question. They're not gonna do anything. They're not gonna really do anything. We lost one eagle to all this, which is sad. Really, really sad. I'm crying a little bit here. So what I'm gonna do with orcs is gonna get as close as possible. And we're gonna actually accept the damage that orcs might get from the evil eyes. As you can see, even the 81 archers that we have can't do shit against the evil eyes. And evil eyes only have 26 uh, HP. It's a tier two unit, possibly. With additional of the blood loss, causes the friendly target to do 25 more percent more damage in melee combat for duration of the battle. Thankfully, we're gonna avoid this entire battle in terms of melee, if possible. Well, that is, uh, with the summoning of the Earth Elementals, not really, but Hell's Mother Humping Bells. Summon more Earth Elementals. And it's going to specifically be Earth Elemental crap. Defend. Excellent. Let's again go. Again, sadly, not the full damage, but we can do it two times. Thank you very much. This, this is going to be pretty big just because of the beautiful rock stone elementals. They are perfect cover for what we need. And the next, of course, as always, are going to be the beautiful Medusae, if you can call them beautiful, but still, there you go. Oh, 34 health points down. Okay, she's dropping beautiful stuff. She's buffing the units with luck. As you can see, 4 luck, 3 positive morale, but we'll see as we start raping her specifically. All in good time, though. All in good time. Defend. Gonna go full defend. Thank you very much. Yeah, drop lock. Drop it as much as you can. Hopefully, that's not gonna be the end of us. But I think we can actually dispel that. The question is, do we have dispel? Do we have dispel? We actually do not have a dispel of anything, sadly. But it's okay. Because at the end of the day, it's not an important thing. We're just gonna spam the earth elementals. They are, after all, the greatest weapon that we actually have. So let's continue just to now shoot at her and see the damage we can inflict. Not the huge damage, sadly. Go and defend. And now we can hope for that maybe that, that stone gaze thing to work on her. That should be an immediate death even, probably. So Hell's uh, Mother Humping Bell, let's do everything we can against these bastards. Thank you very much. You did absolutely nothing there. Defend. Defend. Oh, everybody gains a beautiful morale boost. Thank you very much. Okay, let's again finish let's finish off the evil eyes for now. With them dead, it's gonna be a perfect thing. After that I can concentrate on anything else. Thank you very much. We're still there with our beautiful E Freeze. They're still pretty much alive. Let's go on defense. Beautiful. And the last and though do remember I think I have a huge chunk of nothing demon. Wow, I honestly like how the fuck do I always forget to buy a huge chunk of potions? Like, uh, you see, this is one of the bad things about me, is that I tend to forget about the most basic things. Buy millions of potions, buy millions of everything, I have the money for fuck's sake. So this is gonna be maybe a problem because I do not have any more mana potions. So fuck you demon, you screwed up, but it's okay, it's okay, it's fine. It's not really, but it's fine. It is uh, fine. Okay, now let's go stone gaze and hopefully it's gonna work. Maybe, maybe not, no, nope, doesn't work at all. Let me see how much health points you have. 25. Fine and dandy. Defend. Keep at, keep at it, people. Keep at it. Let's again open fire upon these bitches. Thank you very much. And that's a GG. Now, they might put something else here. Though, to be honest, they have removed the white tigers already a longest time ago. So, we shall do this. Do a little bit of fire at the little bastard. The little girly girl, Maywida. Maywida, she has a lot of buffs. She has the stone skin and fortune. Maximum luck. How evil of her. But we're gonna get a little bit, we don't even have to get close. I mean, this, there is no time limit here. I mean, I can get a little bit close here and do the bad and the ugly upon these bastards with the orcs. You know, just to get a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Sadly, we did lose 
one of our prime things like Griffin. They have fatigue, this causes enemy targets to move a half a speed a moment, and disrupting rate causes target melee and rage defense to do decrease by 20% because of the evil eyes. And again, we do not have a D spell, so it's pretty much a GG there for them. Moving on, defend, defend, beautiful boost of every love possible. Move on, onto the killing ground here with these bastards, thank you very much. And again, I'm sorry for that stone gaze, that stone gaze usually works well uh, against us, it seems it doesn't work well here at all for us. But again, again, just go full spam of my stone golem, that is the earth elementals, as they are the prime thing I'm going to utilize against the evil Germans when they start charging at us. Okay, so now again, the question is if, the, if these groups, I mean, there are 217 beautiful sprites, they have... 12 evil, evil nightmares, and they are an issue in their own right, and they have the haste, blood loss, and the fortune, which increases the max luck. To be honest, the fortune could be an issue, but we shall see. Okay, go full defense again. Full defense, thank you very much, and as always, let's see what we can do here. Not a huge chunk, but two times attack. She can't do anything against us, it would seem. Let's do again additional stone golems, and I think that's a, that's all. I think all the mana I wasted. Wow, how sad is it that you attack a last enemy fo fortress, right? With no mana, no potions, no mortality potions or anything. That's pretty stupid, I would say. That's pretty fucking stupid, but it's fine. But not really, but it's fine. Hell, mother, she's dropping whatever she can, is she? First strike, yeah, to be honest, she doesn't have a mortality potion on her or any mortality possibility ag against us to kill her, so she's pretty much a GG there, I would say. She is pretty much a GG, I would say. A potion of luck, resistance, and mert healing. You see, at least we have the potion of healing, if anything. Uh, snake strike, you see, that's a first strike ability, that's not a bad thing at all. Let me see. Wolf, summon wolves, no stone skin would actually be additional. Just drop a stone skin on earth elementals. How s fun would that be? Fortune, maximum luck, stone skin, increase melee and range defense. As we cannot summon any more earth elementals, derp demon, derp demon indeed. Uh, we could drop quicksand, but how much left? Only two points. So snake strike is the first strike ability. You know, I'm interested to drop the stone skin under the elementals. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> that's fun. That's just pure fun. Let's see how that's gonna work for us. And again, let's go for the bitch. Go for the bitch a little bit more. Go for the bitch. Come on, kill, kill her. Thank you very freaking much. Okay, so now it's the time for us to really move into these bastards and kill them. Uh, the question is how? How do we approach? Because the only way for us to do any damage against these bastards is to lure them on the towers, but that's not gonna work, right? Uh, the biggest problem, I would say, would be uh, the nightmares. After all, they have been buffed heavily, but now on minus one morale, thankfully. Minus one on everyone, actually. Beautiful. They do have luck, but minus morale is a nice thing indeed. Okay, well, I'm not gonna move these bad boys. They're only 31 health points, sadly. These beautiful griffins, we've had, they had no chance to utilize against the enemy whatsoever. Which is sad, by the way. Uh, but still, hell's mother having bells. Let's get a little bit closer to these bastards. I'm gonna block them completely. As soon as we break down the, the, this uh, gate, it's gonna be a problem. It's gonna be a big, massive freaking problem. So we have to prepare for the worst possible thing. And let's see, we can still drop the stone skin because it's only one point. What else can we do? Nothing else, to be honest. We can drop a stone skin again on someone more valuable than me. Uh, well, I'm gonna drop it on Ifrit, as they are tier 3 unit also, if I'm not mistaken. So, health is bells. We'll see how this is gonna go for us. Uh, let's block these bitches. Now, do remember, these girls can actually jump on us and attack us from any distance, so they could be an issue. So, what I'm gonna look is... Okay, so this is the max distance they can go with, right? It's gonna be a bad mojo. So I'm gonna go with the girls over here. Beautiful stuff. We're gonna go with Medusa's, med with Medusa right here, because again, we cannot shoot at anyone until we break open the gate. And the moment we break open the gate, the flying units are gonna might be a problem a little bit for us here. Might be a problem. Uh, okay, so do remember also they have a normal melee, which means the orcs will do full damage anyway. So Hell's Mother having battles in melee combat, even though they are ranged unit. So let's go on defense for now. 
and utilize the efforts to attack from the sides here like this beautiful and we can prepare ourselves for the maximum demarche if possible if possible I say okay well they were they're getting close they're attacking four thank you very much they're the white tigers evil white tigers indeed and I can now shoot at the white tigers thank you very much because they're there right in front of us how naughty of the white tigers okay we can now move a little bit back thank you very much beautiful job leave my five unicorns where they are and maybe drop them right here actually near my hero no leave them the unicorns where they are at the moment no move my unicorns like this okay good stuff okay so as you can see we lost the ability to shoot at these bastards fine and dandy i say fine and dandy how many shots do we still have eight shots oh okay so i forget tend to forget that we do not have a huge chunk of shots to waste any who so eight shots left, infinite shots on Medusa, but Hell's Mother Humping Bells. Hell's Mother Humping Bells. Stone skin, everything has been utilized, potion resistance. 50 magic resistance, not the thing that they really need. Uh, we can utilize the Wand of Fire at least, but again, no, no line of sight on these bastards. At all. Defend, okay. Defend. Let's see how we're gonna deal with this. Beautiful, dropping that thing like nobody's bitch. Beautiful stuff. We're gonna block them right here. At the end of the day, for the, these nightmares to reach us, well, they might be able to reach us. We'll see how that's gonna go. Go full defense. Yeah, go to the nightmares. Go for night. Now, oh, yeah, there you go. See nightmares. I was much afraid for the nightmares, but at the end, uh, uh, at the end, they didn't do much of a damage against the earth elementals plus the stone skin and all. Plus the stone uh, skin and all. Well, let's open fire upon these bitches. Again, to me, the more important are the nightmares than anyone else, in all honesty. And we have this wand of fire. Let's see the damage we might do upon whom exactly. Let me see. What is the bam? Well, the, of course, the nightmares will be the perfect tool. Thank you very much. Plus, we do a little bit damage, Manduzai. Can we? We do not. Do we not have us? Like, really? Really? We, we do not have the ability to shoot anymore with you no we do not have any bird okay so the orcs I always forget I always forget that you do not have an infinite number of arrows here uh, so we're gonna have to go into the into the basic combat against the enemy yeah, yeah you can attack them freely I really have no issues with that let's see how this is gonna go for us beautiful stuff right there excellent uh, they have unlimited retaliation if I no, no, they can attack without retaliation. Okay, that's good and nice and dandy, I guess. Okay, let me deal with these bitches a little bit. Beautiful stuff, low morale. I always like when they have low morale. That tells me that they're pretty much fudged in the butt. Go on def... Well, actually, do not go on defend. Go into the... Well, actually, do not go on to the... I cannot reach these little bitches. Let's go on to wait. Let's go on to wait. Like this. Punch them in the face. Thank you very much. Punch them in the face like a boss. Oh, oh, wow, 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 they are that uh, far away that we can still actually shoot at these little bitches. Oh, nice, perfect. Oh, well, oh, bad motion, though. We have the terror that causes a single target to be scared a little bit. Let's deal with these little bitches. Thank you very much. And with that, I think it will be pretty much a GG. Now, I'm going to utilize the orcs to really uh, maybe attack them specifically. They cannot retaliate. Uh, these bastards can't retaliate. Let's see the orcs against four nightmares. If there is anything like one fucking damage, well, that's nothing, you know, honestly. That's absolutely nothing. Let's see again our griffins finally. Griffins, like beasts of burden, they can, uh, they should be able to retaliate always, though. They should be able to retaliate always. Uh, still won't be able to reach them. Well, let's try with my beautiful little uh, unicorns. That wait thing, I still do not understand. Is that about, about initiative? Who has the best initiative? Who has the best girls? Nine health points. You're pretty much dead if we touch these. So, go on defense with you for now. Yeah, yeah, go for my orcs. Go for my orcs. Let's finish off these little bitches. Go for my orc. That's fine and dandy. And that's it. No, four left. But we're too close for the full demarche here. Hell's uh, Mother Humping Bells. Let's let's do it still. Doesn't really 27. Thank you very much. And now it's time to wrap up this uh, thing and kill off uh, quite a bit of the nightmares, though. Quite a bit of the nightmares. Uh, let's go onto the attack. Uh, not against. Well, actually, against nightmares. How many health points? Three health points. 
Ooh, I lost a lot of work, but they're tier 1 units, so I don't care at all. I do not care. That, to be honest, I should have kept them alive, but, you know, there is, like, North City still active with the enemy forces, so Hills Bomb Camping Bells. But still, if we capture this city, it's pretty much a GG in general, I would say. But again, I could be completely wrong. Uh, so there is that. Okay, there you go. We lose one. Wow. Did we lose one? I think we did at the end. No, we did not. Okay, so there, there is that. Okay, so now is the question, how do I approach these bastards? As we are pretty much blocked by the evil Orkansies. And they're going to pretty much die thanks to the Minotaurs. Okay, let's get close with my ponies. Which are actually just unicorns, let's not call them ponies. Ponies is pretty much disgraceful to say. Let's go on defense. Yeah, there goes my beautiful sexy orcs. And let's go on full attack here, if possible. Do remember, they have the ability to de deflect an attack of sorts. So Hell's Mother Humping Bells. Let's do a full attack here. Thankfully we had that fire staff. It doesn't really require mana, I would say. It requires something, maybe. Maybe it does require mana, but fuck it. Who cares, right? Let's continuously kill these bastards with whatever little we have. Go on defense. The earth elementals, like honestly, they are the ultimate, I would say. Oh, that defense. That little son of a bitch has that defense posture against us. They're like, you know, you should be able to kill our or outright kill them, but no. But uh, no. Let me see. 18, 3. Let's go on defense at the moment and utilize our full firepower of our last few arrows, which are basically now nothing, non existent. So thankfully, we still have this beautiful thing. Against whom? Uh, Hell's Marumping Bells. I'm not going to waste it at the moment. I'm not going to waste it, but I think I have an arrow of sorts on him, so to speak. We do have an arrow of sorts. Okay, let's get here with Medusa. Get the weight out a little bit for these evil, evil, disgustingly evil wolves. We're going to lose one unicorn, of course. Understandable. They have to attack twice, the little bastards. Those little boss. Let's go on defense. Thank you very much. How much health do you have? 8 health. Wow. That's a lot of loss on the unicorns. I'm trying to avoid the losses on the unicorns in all honesty. So I'm just going to utilize the Wand of Fire. There's a lot of freaking damage there. And we have the Medusa, of course. Uh, this, come on. Like, I, like 5 initiative for fun's sake. Come on. Be better. Be cooler. Thank you. Finally. Let's wrap up this bullcrap. Holy crap, that was a battle in something. Like, a lot of losses, though. Completely lost all the evil orcs because of my own mistake, though. But hell's mother humping bells. I would say still that we have won quite a significant battle, though we lost quite a significant amount of troops at the end of the day. So we have the potion of speed. Increase the hero... We, well, we gain a ring of health. Increase heal, uh, hero's heal point by 50%. We have... Amaranthia's mug give all friendly target 3 morale. Wizard's Ring increases the hero's spell points by 5 and regenerates plus 1 spell point per day. And Wand of Blesses gets the Bless spell. The one begins each combat with 2 spell points and regenerates 2 spells per round. How beautiful all this should go only on our friend here. Because he deserves it all. Elwyn, the master of disaster. Soon after you capture of Zudrai, one of your aides reports that an enemy caravan is expected later today. You can find out more about this force by visiting the caravan and speaking with the caravan master. Oh boy, great. If they attack us with something unprecedented, I'm pretty much fucked at this point. Like, if some kind of enemy caravan moves in on us... Okay, running the Thieves' Gauntlet e isn't easy, but Elwin manages to see it barely. In the process, he gets plus 3 million attack and plus 2 range attack. How beautiful, you say. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. And there you go. Now we have a 1 Unicorn and 1 Nightmare. How evil. So, Caravan Master. Who is the Caravan Master? View. Uh, oh, wow. For Zudra, several evil, evil, disgusting works. Okay, I was afraid of something much more dangerous, but I'm guessing it was not an event of sorts. It was just something that we found out before they arrived at the expected place of power, uh, which I'm completely fine with because we can deal with those bastards. Thank you very freaking much. And that's it, my friends. Next time, more lum, more drunks, and we continue on with what exactly? Well, I don't think we actually killed the fool. I think maybe they have one more. I think they might have one more city, to be honest. They probably have one more city. We're gonna go for the Thieves Guild. You see? Damn, that means no cities, dude. 
Like, that means no cities, no armies, nothing. See, towns, armies, income, nothing. So, blue player is the, left, uh, the last one left, and that's right here. And I'm hoping he's not gonna do anything stupid. Because, in all honesty, that would be very scary if, if they try to do something unimaginably smart. That would be very stupid also. But anyway, very close to the gate, but first we're gonna clear out the north, so I don't have anything to backstab in the ass. Plus, there are a few more positions I have to meet, specifically here, which teaches level 3 spell, nature spell. I wanna see exactly what it is. So next time, more, more drugs and more Heroes of Might and Magic for goodness.